Okay, hello year eight. Um, I am uploading um, this video for you because I've noticed that some of you have been struggling with task 62, express one number as a fraction of another. Um, I'm gonna go through a couple of questions from the task and just talk you through them and how exactly they work. So um, to start with, I'm gonna do this question, which is express 18 as a fraction of 27. So we want to know what 18 is as a fraction of 27, which means when we're writing our fraction, we've got 18 out of 27. Now that is the first step, but in each of these questions, it asks you to do something. And the thing it asks you to do is to Simplify. It keeps saying put it in its simplest form. So that's what we have to do. We have to simplify it. We have to find a times table that both 18 and 27 go into and divide them by that. So we could divide them by 9 because they are both in the 9 times table. 18 divided by 9 is 2 and 27 divided by 9 is 3. So our answer is two thirds. 18 as a fraction of 27 is two thirds. Okay, I'm gonna go through another question now. I'm just gonna rub this out. And we'll go through another one. So there were some slightly different questions on here. For example, what fraction of an hour is five minutes. And again, we've got to give our answer in its simplest form. So we're looking at what fraction of one hour is five minutes. And there's a big problem here. We've got different units. This is five minutes and this is an hour. Now we can make these be in the same units because an hour is 60 minutes. Okay, that means that five minutes as a fraction of an hour is five out of 60. And again, the key thing we've got to do is simplify. So I've got to think what times table are both of those in? And I think they are both in the five times table. So I'm gonna divide the top and the bottom of my fraction by five, because what I do to the numerator, the top number, I must do to the denominator, the bottom number. Five divided by five is one, and 60 divided by five is 12. So the answer is one twelfth, okay? I am going to do one more example for you, just very quickly to finish off. So rubbing this one out now. And the last one I'm going to do is this. We have Chris got 28 out of 35 correct in his test. What fraction of the marks... Did he get correct? And again, we're going to have to simplify at the end. So I'm going to write that there so I remember that I'm going to have to put it in its simplest form and simplify it at the end. So he got 28 marks, 28 correct marks out of a possible 35 marks. So that is my initial fraction. I am now going to have to simplify that fraction. So I'm gonna to have to find something I can divide, both 28 and 35, and I've got to think, what times table are they both in? Well, they are both in the, f the seven times table, so I'm gonna divide them both by seven, which will leave me with four and five, so the answer is four fifths, okay? 
Remember, any questions, get in touch. But hopefully those three examples have helped you out a bit.